Today you're going to be making a pinch pot. Pinch pot is the oldest form of pottery. It looks something like this, but it's actually created using your thumb and your fingers and pinching the clay out, something like that. To start this project, you will need to get a bag, and please use a Sharpie to write your name and your day that you come to art on the bag. If you're done with that, you're going to get a piece of clay, which will look a lot like a block, and you're going to take with your hand and form it into a ball. This clay is pre-wedged, which means that it has no air bubbles in it. So when it goes into our kiln, which is the big oven we use to fire clay, it won't explode. As air bubbles, air tends to expand when it gets hotter, the air bubbles will explode in the kiln if you have any. If you make a mistake, please let me know and I'll help you wedge your clay. Or you can check out the other video which shows you how to wedge your clay. Once you're done forming your sphere, you're going to figure out where you'd like to have your top. Mine's going to be right here. You're going to push your thumb down into your clay. You don't want to go the entire way through, and if you'd like, you can use a pencil, or in this case, I'm using the Sharpie, to see how deep you've made your indentation. That looks pretty good. I want about a half an inch at the bottom here, which is what I have. Then I'm going to put my thumb back in my pot, and from the bottom, squeezing with my fingers here, I'm going to pull the clay up into a circle. You'll start to see this kind of lip of clay that I've got right here. So I'm pulling that up, and that's forming the bottom of my pinch pot. And then what I'm going to do is just keep going. I'm making another layer. So I started down here. Now my fingers are pinching here. And then I'm going to pinch up here to start making the entire pot. I am currently making the top of my pot, the bowl if you will. So right here is where what I'm making. So I'm going to continue to pinch my clay. So I have a very uniform thickness, which means that some areas aren't super thin while other areas are super thick. Um, bowl. I would like it to all be the same thickness. And you want to keep your thumb in your pot. The reason for that is all of your fingers in your pot are the best way to make yourself a plate because there's too many to fit into that small space. And you'll end up with a flattened pancake looking plate. So I'm forming that, I've got something like that so far, it's not looking too bad. Now for the next step, what you might do is use something called a clay rib. We have several of these. Some of them are made out of wood, as these two are, and some of them are made out of plastic, like these two. Now for my rib, what I'm going to use it for is to smooth out my pot. Notice I put my fingers on the inside of my pot, and I use my rib to kind of smooth everything out. You'll get extra things on it, but that's okay. We can just um, blend them in or wipe them off. So I'm doing this. You can also use your fingers to do this if you don't want to use the rib. And I'm smoothing out my pot until I have it the exact way that I'd like to have it. And that's how you make your pinch pot bowl, which is the top part of your actual pinch pot. 